Royal Australian Navy's Collins-class submarines to get cutting-edge upgrades. Defence Minister Peter Dutton has confirmed that all six of the RAND's Collins-class submarines will undergo major life-of-type extensions to avoid a capability gap before the anticipated entry into service of the first of 12 attack-class replacements in the mid-2030s. The plan, which will cost up to $10 billion, aims to guarantee that the submarine fleet does not fall below six boats. Saab Cockums began discussions with ASC in 2020 on interfacing its ship control system, which already equips the Collins class. The new equipment will likely be replaced with new diesel generators, main motors, switching gear, and batteries. Other upgrades already scheduled for the Collins fleet include new bow and flank sonar arrays, modernization of the legacy communication center, replacement of the electronic warfare system, optronics system, wideband satellite communications, and the possible replacement of a periscope with an optronics mast. The optronics system is expected to help maintain the tactical advantage in intelligence gathering, surveillance, reconnaissance, and anti-surface warfare for the submarines. Collins-class submarines underwent sonar system upgrades in 2020 through a multi-million dollar contract with Thales Australia. It'll give a much quicker read on what the submarine can see outside. It means the periscope doesn't have to be exposed and provides that extra point of vulnerability for the submarines, Defense Minister Peter Dutton noted. Collins class demonstrated its operational capability on June 14, 1999, when the Collins class submarine HMAS Farncombe fired a MK-48 torpedo at the 28-year-old former destroyer escort Torrens. Since then, the first submarine to undergo the upgrade will be HMAS Rankin, while the technology is expected to be operational by 2026. The refitting process is scheduled to start in 2024. The submarines will eventually be replaced by new nuclear-powered submarines, which the Australian government plans to build under the AUKUS Pact. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram.